Hi guys, it is me, Stace. Today I want to share with you my card that I designed for the May May Made Design Team. Isn't that cute? It has a little bear on the front. It says, so very proud of you. Really cute little card. The stamp set I'm using is very sentimental. This stamp set is awesome. It has all these bear related terms. You know, you make life bearable, bear hugs, grin and bear it. You know, so very proud of you. I'm wishing you a very happy birthday. Really, really fun one. Alright, so to get started, I have a piece of black cardstock, 8.5 by 5.5. I scored it at 4 and a quarter to create the card base. I'm going to be using the We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chopper, and this is the one that has the cloud and the scallop on it. I'm going to use the cloud and go ahead and chop off all four of these corners, just like that. Then we have a piece of yellow cardstock and a piece of pattern paper. The yellow cardstock is four by five and a quarter. And you can use whatever color, you know, if you're making this, this is a little graduation bear. So if you're doing this for a graduation, of course, you're going to use the school colors. Just going to line it up on that one. And then we have this piece, just regular pattern paper. This is three and three quarter by five. Then I have a strip of the same yellow. This is one and a quarter um, by probably five, five and a quarter. I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. And I have this piece larger, this way I can cut off the excess. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put it towards the bottom to kind of break up the card design a little bit. Lift this up. Let me go ahead and trim off the extra piece. All right, and we're going to glue this one on the front as well. So a lot of layering on this card, but it is really cute. And again, like I said, I'm using yellow, but you can, of course, change this out to whatever school colors you have or you like. All right, so we have that done. Let's go in and grab the inside. Just a piece of white cardstock, four by five and a quarter. And again, these ends are chopped. I'll put this on the inside. This way the card is finished on the inside. Okay, now let's work on the teddy bear. Right, like I said, he is from Design Space. He's from the Teddy Bear Parade cartridge and I cut him to be um, three and three quarters. So we have already put this part on the bear, just to save some time. So you have this black piece, then the brown piece. Now, if you don't wanna cut the black piece out, because all it is is for the eyes, you can just go ahead and cut out a piece of black scrap car, um, cardstock to do that. All right, we're gonna put these two together, that way that part is done of the bear. Okay. Then we have the diploma. I already put that together as well. There's just a piece of white and red. All right, now we have all these pieces. We're going to work with the cap and the tassel. You'll see score marks on all these pieces where everything goes. And there's just a lot of layers to it. All right, so we're going to line that up right there. Okay, that is done. Let's do his glasses. Are those glasses adorable? They are just too cute. Right, I'm going to go ahead and just put a few dollops of glue around it. I'm using the Art Glitter Glue with the fine tip. You can get this on MamieMadeIt.com or you can get it on Amazon. Right, I'm just going to put these on there. That is just too cute. I love the glasses. That kind of makes the bear. All right. The belly piece will cut out. You don't need the belly piece though because you're going to hide that. All right, now we have this piece and this piece. Okay, what we're going to do on this black part, you're going to see a score mark. Okay, you're going to take the red piece, which is this tie, I'm going to flip it over, put some glue on the back of it, take the red piece and line it up with the score marks. Make sure it's even. Okay, and that's going to create the little tie that he's wearing. And if you don't have a boy bear, you can leave the tie out and make it be a girl bear. Okay, and then the white is going to go behind that piece to create the shirt. So you're going to put some glue on this piece. Put these two pieces together. Now it looks like I may have it backwards. you got to be careful on some of these images. Um, they may have to go a certain way, so you might want to check that first before you glue things together like I just did there. Let's check this side. Yeah, that side fits much better. So before you glue it down, just go ahead and check that. Okay, so now he has a shirt with a tie. Now we're going to take the yellow piece for his collar. 
and that is directional as well. Just kind of watch that. Okay. Put some glue on that. I'm going to kind of dab it off a little bit over there. Kind of bring this up. So pretty easy, right? Now we're going to take this and glue this on to the bear. Super cute. Super cute. And now his little cap. I'm going to put some glue on the bottom of that and glue that to the top of his head. And I'm going to kind of go on like a little bit of a tilt, I think. And lastly, his diploma. So it goes together pretty quick. So there's just a lot of pieces for that little bear. All right, he is done. Now we're gonna take him, bring him around here. I'm gonna grab some dimensionals. We're gonna flip him over. And I'm using a lot of them. Give all them a squish, make sure they're on there really well. Take the backing off of these. Yeah, that stamp set is so fun. It has all kinds. I mean, there's just the cutest little bear greetings on there. Make sure your car's going the right way and plop him over on the one side. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, now I want to work on our stamp. I'm going to grab a piece of white scrap paper. I thought I had some. We're going to this big piece right here. All right. And the one I'm using says, so very proud of you. And I'm just using the Memento Black ink. I'm going to stamp it down here in the corner. I really love the font on that one. Can you guys see that? It's such a fun font on that greeting. Alright, and I'm gonna take a punch to punch this out. I'm using the scallop, the Stampin' Up scallop bubble punch to punch it out. Get it lined up, pop that out, put that over there, flip this around, and bring the mantles back over. Put two on this one. And if you guys aren't familiar with our stamps, they're photopolymer, a really good high quality photopolymer. Um, they're made in the USA, which is a big thing for me. Um, she also has a stamp club you guys can join. I want to say it's 11 and 9 per month, I believe. But look at that. That's a really, really cute stamp. And look how cute the card is. And of course, you can jazz up the inside. On this one here, I took that same paper I used and add a little strip on the inside so they kind of coordinate. But either way, it's fine. But anyway, um, there you guys have it. My design team project from Mamie made it. Any questions at all, please let me know. I will leave the link to her website below so you guys can go there and check out her stamps, her stamp club. I believe she also has a scripture stamp club as well. Um, you guys can look into that as you go there. And I'll also leave a list to all the other designers on her design team. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.